So here is the marks versus percentile. But only for this shift, that is 26 shift 1. As you all know, this year NTA is providing a little bit similar difficulty level as I have discussed uh, at the start of this video about the difficulty level. But this time, a little bit unique question we are there. So it will have an effect on marks versus percentile. So I am providing you. It is completely based on the strand feedback. There may be a little bit change in the original result and after original result also I will try to provide you the same data. So here is the information that is for 99.9, .9, 221 to 226 marks will be required and for 99.8, 216 to 221 marks will be required and for 99.6, 207 to 212 marks will be required. One more thing I would like to request you please try to support this channel. I am working day and night for the student. Please try to make a little bit more subscription to so that I will get some support from your side and also you will be getting all the updated information at the right time. So please try to do that. So next if you talk about for 99.4, 200 to 204 marks and for 99, 181 to 184 and for 98, 159 to 163 marks and for 97, 150 to 153 marks and for 96, 134 to 137 marks and for 95, 120 to 124 marks and for 93, 102 to 107 marks. So one more thing I would like to inform you here that is your percentile will be purely affected by the number of a strand that will appear and the type of a strand that will appear in your particular shape. There is nothing to do with other shift for your percentile because your percentile will be calculated from the strand whatever appear in your shift only. Nothing to think about other shift because it also depends on the number of a strand and type of a strand. So NTA provided uniform distribution so number of a strand will be almost similar in each shift. But type of a strand may, uh, may differ. Suppose if all the strands are average strand, then you may be getting the better percentile at lower score even in easy shift also and vice versa also possible. So this type of thing can be done. So try to understand and hope you got my point whatever I want to tell you. So for now if you talk about 90 percentile, 82, 85 and for 85, uh, 66 to 68 and for 80, 57 to 60, 75, 50 to, uh, 53 and for 70, 43 to 45, 60. 38 to 40 marks and for 60 32 to 35 marks and for 50 28 to 30 marks and for 40 19 to 21 marks and a scoring marks will not be easy for the student particularly who have registered for the first time in J exam because all those students are from board exams and means after board exams and they have registered for the uh, J mains exams and so uh, it will not be easy for them to score marks that's why you will be getting a little bit better percentile at low marks also so I have discussed that so now let's talk about expected cutoff marks for J advanced exams so here is general 71 to 74 and cutoff percentile will be 86 to 88 percentile and that, that will remain same for all the same marks will change in each shape due to the difficulty level so for ews 40 to 42 obc 41 to 43 sc 28 29 st 17 18 and for pwd you will be eligible if you have solved any one question.